Alaska means the Great Land. It is home to 17 of North America's tallest mountains and has 3,000 rivers and 3 million lakes. It was reached by outsiders in 1741 and has the lowest population density in the nation. It is 14.2% water and has coastlines on three different seas. These are just some of the facts on why I wanted to spend the whole entire summer up in Alaska creating beautiful content for you guys at home to watch. This is our story. Well guys, I cannot believe it, but it's finally time. We're going back to Alaska. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the channel, I've been doing this for a while now. I take off and I spend the entire summer creating content for you guys up in Alaska. And our journey begins today in Fargo, North Dakota. Me and where's Lindsay? There she is. Me and Lindsay, we're here and we get the tough task of driving all the way to Alaska from Fargo. I believe it's about 51 hours. It's gonna take us five days, 11 hours each day. <sighs> I'll make this one long video of just driving all the way up from now until we get to our place that we're staying this summer. So I'm pretty excited. My goodness gracious, it is bright outside. But guys, this is pretty much the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Lindsay and I drove all morning, saw some pretty cool stuff, saw a couple animals. The scenery was what was really awesome. Made it through all the potholes and the potholes were, eh, we went flying a couple times in the old tundra. But we are right before the border crossing here in Alaska in the Yukon and I thought I'd bust the camera out and show you guys the old Alaska sign. Welcome to Alaska. Look at that Lindsay. It's been four days and now we're here. How do you feel? Um, tad bit car sick from the bumps but it's been an amazing four days. It feels like we just left. Right. Like last year, the trip went by fast, and this year I think it's going by even faster. It feels like we just left. I can't believe we're already in Alaska. So, this is pretty cool. I'm glad we made it this far, 
but uh, technically speaking, we still have a little ways to go uh, for the tonight. We're going about another four hours to Glen Allen, where we are going to camp one last night, and then we're gonna finish the remaining of the leg the day tomorrow morning, and we have to stop into Anchorage, grab some stuff that I left to my grandparents, pick up Sam Lehman, and then bring you guys uh, to our Airbnb. But I think I'm gonna put the camera away, cross the border, and I'll see you guys in Alaska. Chapter One, The King Salmon. I feel like for the past Two weeks you guys have kind of seen our journey on the king fishing here in Alaska on the Kenai Peninsula and by no means have we put out a video where we absolutely put a beating on them but I'm thinking from today and then the next three days from now it's going to happen and I want to document all of it so in the last video you guys saw we had a couple king opportunities I'm talking about myself and I messed them up and we ended up empty-handed Go swing your bait down the bottom hole. Oh, I'm on! Yeah, oh! Oh, God! Oh, run down. Oh, God! Run down. Oh, my God! Run! Ah. Watch out for the rot trees! I'm ah. Let's go, dude! Ah. Yeah, yeah. Watch those trees. Go high! Yes, sir! See, I'm dead. I don't know how this thing is. Is it a wild or hatchery? I think it's a hatchery fish. Let's go, dude. No! Hey, you felt him there. <sighs> but I told you guys the next couple videos, we were gonna be back at it trying to get a king salmon for you guys. And that's what we're doing. Today, we're on a little river here. Well, pretty decent sized river. This is where Sam caught his first king salmon ever last year. And we're gonna do a little bit of flipping today, okay? We're not expecting much. Maybe a couple reds, if anything. I don't even think we're gonna see a king today, honestly, but maybe I could be wrong. And then in two days from now, this other river opens up for kings, which Sam and I are gonna be going hard at, where I lost that king salmon in the last video that you guys saw. And I just wanna make this all one long video of us Hopefully catching a king salmon and hopefully eating a king salmon. How are you feeling, boss? <sighs> Low expectations, but I'm just happy to be out fishing. Well said by Sam Lehman, the man, the myth, the legend. But we're gonna get some rods in the water and just sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy. There we go, Sam. Red. Yeah. Little sockeye. Hey, why is he burning and turning? Hey, come back here. Come back here. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I got a decent look at her. Eh, not so much. I'm pretty sure it's a red, though. I think we're good right now, boys. We're on. Holy cow, I'm pretty, I'm like 70% sure it's a red. Oh, I ran the mouth though, all son. Look at that. First red for me for the year, let's go. He's, he's mad though, dude. 
he's mad guys you guys be if you guys come and do this you got to be careful because you got this big half ounce weight and you don't want the weight flying off and hitting you in the face so always angle your rod a little bit so uh you don't hit something but that's cool dude i'm i'm not mad about it i told sam i'm like i feel like i need a red to uh get all get all situated before i catch a king you know look at that oh yeah son right in the mouth eh saving well ladies and gentlemen i got my first red salmon of the year we catch a lot of these sockeyes uh, during the summer, but this is my first one of the year. Beautiful fish. We're hoping for kings, but you know, we'll take them like that. Well, kings one, Mindak Bros zero. Yep, you got that right. Well, fellas, it's been, I don't know, a couple hours since that last action that you guys saw. And nothing else um some gentlemen above us caught one which was pretty cool nice hatchery but other than that sam haven't sam and i have not seen any kings rolling or anything so we're gonna call this a night and we're gonna go back to the house and get some sleep and get some rest because that other river opens up in a couple days and that's where this adventure is going to continue and that's where we're hopefully going to catch a king for you guys so i'll plan on seeing you guys in a couple days. Well, good morning everybody. It's a couple days later, like I told you. It is currently 3.49 in the morning. Sam and I were up at 2.30 in the morning and we had about an hour drive. And now we're here. We're back at the spot where in the previous video, I lost a king salmon. And uh, this place is opened up today and I got a feeling, I got a feeling all these days that we've been putting in, today's finally the day we land a king and I'm gonna be so happy if we do. Uh, our good buddy Jaden, he was also in the last video, he's down at the river right now and he already caught his limit and caught a bunch of other fish as well so he said it's pretty good. So I am really hoping that today is a change of luck for us. There is about a million people here though so that is something that kind of sucks. But other than that, not too bad. It's gonna be raining on and off today, so the filming might be a little bit eh. We're gonna have to play that by ear. I'm gonna put this bad boy away and then get the GoPros going. But I'm gonna walk down to the spot and we'll start fishing here very shortly. Looks pretty bust in here. Looks pretty bust in here. Where's the juice? Right up in there. Right over there. You gonna use some eggs? Let's go, my pussy. So you gonna use some eggs or what? Gonna use it up, yeah. Yeah, 100% fish. Oh, yeah, you it's a nice one. Dude. I know, it's that same one I missed. I hope he's gonna stay up here though.
wild. Yeah. You want to get them for yeah, me? Yeah, I'll try to get them off. Yeah. Yeah. Scrub the line. Yep. Y'all let you grab that. Beautiful hatch or beautiful wild fish that Sam just caught. Unfortunately, you can't keep these, but wow, what a beauty of a fish, Sam. Okay. Perfectly hooked. Perfectly hooked right in the corner of the mouth on the bee. Look at that beast. All right. What a beast of a fish. Yep. Oh, what a dude. Nice fish, oh. dude. That was dope. Nice, nice. Slayman's on fire, dude. Slayman's on fire. Let's go, Slayman. Oh, God. Mad. Mad. Oh, my God. Sam's on fire. Yeah. Sam's on a little streak here. Oh, come on. Be a hatchery, though. Right? <laughs> like, dude, that's what I'm hoping for, bro. <laughs> Sam's a beast, bro. Dude, you got that on dial right now. They want that bee, bro. <laughs> if you want me to walk them over to this, you can. Yeah, I'm just quiet enough. Alright. I don't want them to get down there and then go all the way Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, just enjoy it. <laughs> the king's man. Enjoy it, man. Hatchery, dude. Yep. Golly, and that would be so nice right now. Let's go. Dang, boy. Hey, slaving the beast. Oh, you're not recording. Oh, what? Well, I'm recording at least. Let's go. Slaming got a nice barely hatchery fish. Him. Barely had it. Sam just caught one. Yeah. Dude, you're cracked as hell. Let's go, yeah. Slaming. They want that bead. Well, sorry, guys. Slaming wasn't recording on that one. But. He got a beautiful hatchery fish. If you guys are curious, I can tell if it's a hatchery fish. Um, so you see the dorsal fin right there. Behind the dorsal fin, right here, there would be a uh, an adipose fin. That would be a wild one if there was a fin. But the hatcheries, they, they clip them off. Well done. So beautiful. I think you should get in there. Yeah, I should get in there. I'll let you take care of that one. Let's go, Slayman. Dude, I could have sworn I was recording. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like right there. The bead dipped in the secret sauce. No way. Yep. No way. What? What's that? It's a reef, dude. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. Are you kidding me? No. What? That was almost this. Slayman's like three for three. No, dude. It's capping. that bead, bro. Is it I'm not capping. You're capping. No. Give me that bead. Yeah, you I shall. Don't think that's what <laughs> Because I released that jack earlier today. That's oh, why. shoot. Dude, no way, Sam. Oh, yeah. It's a hook. He's mad now. Beast right now. 
It's so fire. comfy, you guys. I want you to get one now. Coming through. Uh it's another nice one, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh god. No, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. No, 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 let me get him over there. Oh, the oh, bad one. No, but it's not. Right down there. Keep them pinned. No, I got them. Okay. Keep them. Should we do it right here? Yeah. Oh, deep right here, bro. How oh, deep? Pretty deep. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hatchery. Oh, it's a Let's nice go. hatchery. Here, show the folks. Look at this. <laughs> oh, here she is. King salmon fishing can just switch just like that. Same block can be fishing like. Came right out. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to bonk this thing right now. Yeah. It's your turn, buddy. Oh. Let's go, dude. Well, shall I use this rod? I might have to. This is what they want. They want that bead, bro. Right there, baby. Sam's Ooh, caught God. three kings in like 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. As soon as I can reel them in. Yeah. Here. You gotta dip it in the yeah. egg juice. Oh. Yeah, I think this broke, so I just threw that all the way up. I, it stays I, on the it stays yeah. on this one just fine. Yeah. I have a I have another pre-made one. I got no. oh. Oh. pull all the way that up. Oh! It sits on this just fine. Oh. Right, right, right. Let me move the switch off it. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. Switch it. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm on. No way. No way, dude. What's going on, Sam? No way. Dude, what the heck? Sam, what, 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 what do you got me on? Oh, turning at me. Oh, the bee grind, dude. <gasps> no way, Sam. No way I just happened, bro. You got eggs or a bead, I throw that on. No, I got eggs up in the car. I'd go get them. Oh my gosh. This is the very next pass, dude. They're loaded in there right now. I like that bead, buddy. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's mad, dude. Ah. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. It is an arm workout. Holy crap, Sam. They're just fired up right now. Literally, we just got Sam caught like three in a row, and then I just flipped in with the bead that Sam had, and bam, instantly. 
smoked it. Oh, this is this is so much fun, guys. He's mad. I'm trying to just uh, wear him out right now. Keep tension. Keep the rod tip low. Goodness. Have you seen what it is or no? No, I haven't. I just know my arm's tired. <laughs> no shot, dude. What the heck, bro? I'm trying, I'm trying. Right yeah, you got the drag like set perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't call me slamming for nothing. Oh, I think I got a good enough hooking though. That hook set oh, yeah. looked alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get okay. You would have came out. Man. Cool, 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 cool. But, you never know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know how it goes with these things. This one's like chromed Just keep out. Your rod okay. Dude, these kings fight so hard, fellas. So hard. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm just trying to wear him out right now. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, my arm's so dead. Yeah. Oh, the reel's coming loose. I got it. Yep. Okay, keep my rod tip a little lower. Come on, big fella. Tire out. Tire out. Oh, oh there's a log right there, Sam. No. No. Okay, am I good? Oh, oh no. I didn't see that log. There you go. I didn't either. Hatchery. Get in there, Schleiman. Let's go. Yes. Here you go, oh, Johnny boy. Dude. This is hey, long awaited. Perfect, hook set, perfect hook set. That thing was not getting out, fellas. We're gonna let's walk him back and get the, the pliers on him. Let's go, baby. Yes. Nice hack, Dude, baby. Sam and I had I told you guys, I told you I had a feeling. Me and Sam will be grinding all these days, and finally it's gonna come through. Let's get you back in Let's there. go. I gotta get back in there though. They're loaded in there right now. They love the bead. baby <laughs> is that a little heavy bud just a little bit on the two fingers there but dang bro dang. so these are the two that sam caught and this one's an absolute beast yeah, I think it's a oh yeah that thing's a beast. kegger man and then that's the son of a gun that i got and though i think the wild one bigger. that i grabbed you know for you and we let go i think that one was bigger i think it was around the same size as this one yeah I, it might have been a little bit bigger. It definitely wasn't smaller than that one, though. Right. But like, what do you what do you think about kingfishing, though? It's rewarding when you get on them, but you got to put in the work, man. Slamming and I have been sitting down here for the last, I don't know, another two hours or so, and haven't had much action. Could we sit here and probably catch one more for my limit? Yeah, probably, but I don't want to do that. I got some stuff to do today, and I'm happy with three. Like, wow, what a freaking morning. Had so much fun. These fish are no joke. 100% the hardest fighting fish that you can go after. Like, these things tear you up, man, and they are so much fun to catch. But like I said, we're going to take these bad boys home, clean them, and then my favorite part, we're going to be eating some.
Well, Sam Lehman, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you outdone yourself. I don't know. She's a little overcooked, but she'll do. What was the internal readings on her? I don't know. I just kind of winged it. Anyways, guys, Sam Lehman just chefed up this fresh salmon. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'll try to get super close for you guys. Look at that. We got a little side of rice right there. And I decided to do a time lapse for this part because we cooked it exactly the same way we did about three episodes ago. So if you wanna see a more in-depth step-by-step -step process, go back to that video right here and you guys can learn how we did that. But he just basically blackened it on a skillet on the oven stove there. And man, this looks good. This is gonna be, I was thinking Sam, this is gonna be such a satisfying meal because not only like are we just taking our hunger out on this, it's just like, I'm gonna be eating this thinking about all the hard times that we had king fishing up until this day. And I'm just, I'm just staying mad at him while I'm eating. That makes sense? Yep, I, I gotta provide for the family. Yeah, Sam, Sam is a beast. But let's just, let's go in for a couple bites here, Slayman, and just see what we think, man. Uh, he's you know? a fork. Oh, I won't even, I won't even do any rice with this. I'll just do straight up king salmon. Yeah, you guys can see that. Oh boy. Fresh lemon, that's all I'm gonna say. Could use some fresh lemon, but no one's a big lemon guy in this house but me. Oh my. Holy cannoli. Like, it's so good, I have to go straight caveman on that. That, you're getting kind of like a, a over overexposed shot of this piece, but it's just, mm. Mm. that kings have a little more oily texture than reds or pretty much any other salmon, but oh my gosh, I, I love that. I think it's really good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you for making dinner tonight. And thank you guys for sticking around to this point and watching us on the struggle bus from day one when we got to Alaska to this point where we put together a pretty good day of king fishing. No, we didn't get our full limit, but man, we had one heck of a time. King salmon is becoming more and more and more and more on the top of my list for favorite species to target. I mean, between the fight, the hook sets, uh, the landing, the eating, like it's all just the whole nine yards that us fishermen seek for, you know, an experience. Like that's just like the filet mignon, I feel like, of, of fishing. It's just amazing, so much fun. You have to put so much work in these fish, but if you put the work in and you guys get one, you can reap the benefits. Chapter two. Halibut. How's it going folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we find ourselves in Alaska still. Obviously we're here for the whole summer and we wanted to do something that we tried doing last year but last year we were here a little bit too late at the tail end of the beach fishing for halibut. Our friend Joe, if you guys remember him from the previous year, Big Daddy Joe, he invited us out and he's been clapping on the beach. And I think he's been catching halibut and maybe some other types of fish as well. But we met him over here and we're gonna walk down to the spot, get some lines in the water, and see if we can do a little bit of DIY beach fishing for halibut. Lindsay, Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away. <laughs> Lindsay, are you excited for today? Really excited, this guy right next to us just brought in a halibut, so I'm feeling the halibut grind. It's here, let's go get some. Oh, well, we meet again. Oh yeah. Big Daddy Joe, you guys remember our <laughs> homie from last year? Yo, give me some, brother. What's the name of the game for today? Catch some halibut. That's, that sounds that's fun. I feel like we're really close to my face here. Yeah, that's you like really that? Wide yeah. So and then we got Joe's friend chilling over there. What up, boss man? Uh, 
Try to get some halibut out here today. What they said, we, we already saw one guy land one, so we got high hopes. Uh, hopefully Joe can put us on the stuff here. It is a tad bit windy out here today. We made it to another beach earlier and it was just way too windy. So we moved to this beach and we're thinking this is gonna be a lot of fun. I don't really know how to do all this stuff. We're probably gonna be throwing herring with these giant like 10 foot plus rods and uh, throw them way out there as far as you can with a one pound weight and just wait for some fish. Dang, Joe, that rod is bigger than you, brother. I know. You got a nice rod. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember how far Joe can cast these things? Oh, Joe can send it way out there, but Joe it's kind of funny much. watching us cast, you know? Yeah, except this thing weighs more than me. Like, let me see, let me see this thing. Dude, I could pull vault with this thing. You literally could. This is literally like a pull vault. These are fresh out of the inlet, dude. Dude, are those herring? Oh yeah. Fresh herring? Fresh herring. And that's the juice, that's halibut candy, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you just give a little slicey dice like that. It's not good for my knife, but whatever. Yeah, it it's like it's probably not great for your knife, but. Dude, you know how stinky my hands can get? That's one. First line in the water? First line in the water. I feel like casting on the beach is, it's a skill. You can't just do it. And Joe is very good at it. I wanna see Schleiman give her a toss though. Half the distance, not even. Dude, that was crazy. That's a big fish. Get him, son. Get him, son. Get him. Bro, literally, we we're sitting here chilling. All of a sudden, we saw our rod go flying out of the rod holder and it's going into the water. I grabbed the camera as fast as possible and he's on right now. Oh my god, I thought we were going to lose that rod, dude. How's it feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? Holy crap. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I would have been rolling on that, but. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, I saw a wake out there, bro. Big? Oh, yeah. Hold on. It's a big one. This is a big fish. Oh, is he running at you? Oh, you good. Yeah. You good. You got him. He's you got him. Dude, my heart was, my heart, heart was racing. I about pooped that thing out in. <laughs> yeah. Dude, no more feet. That's the biggest one of the year. Let's go. Hey, that was we got scared. I want it all happen, bro. Yeah. You all right with that? I'm glad you grabbed that, though. We almost lost that. Know, oh, that's a, dude, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a chunky boy. That's not small, bro. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Woo! Oh, baby! <laughs> What'd you think about that? Dude, that's insane, bro. Watching that rod go. Woo! Almost going to the water, Keelan. Went down there, saved the rod, and landed the fish. That whole sequence of events was hilarious. And I wish, I, sorry guys, I wish I'd have the time lapse rolling on that, but. Rod just went flying in the water. Oh man, we got it done though. Good job. Let's see it, daddy. 
And that's why you come to Alaska, man. The, one of the most sought after fish in Alaska. Oh, and Joe's making out with it. Oh, we got the old scale here. Thirty-five point ninety-four. Almost a thirty-six pounder. Dang. Let's go, dude! Beautiful fish. All right, there's halibut number one. That was pretty exciting. We're gonna pay attention a little bit more here and see if we can get some more. Yeah. Oh yeah. You on? Oh yeah. Oh, hey, on. let's go. Literally, we just caught that other one, and we saw this one doing a little something, so I came over here, and Big Daddy Schleiman's on. Oh, yes, sir. It doesn't feel all that big, but it feels, it's got some nice weight to her. It's nothing crazy. You sure you're not just reeling up a, uh, 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 what you call it, a weight? I could be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what a fish feels like on this thing. Look at this. I'll, I'll back up so you guys can see this. Sheesh. Halibut tacos! Oh yeah, perfect. Woo! Dang, that was like you that versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> she'll Halibut eat, she'll eat just fine. She might be like four pounds, but it's gonna be the best four pounds of meat ever. What you got going on here, bucko? Well, we're sitting here, and uh, we had a little nibble. Oh, yeah, little nibbles here. All right, I'm, I think, I, all right, I'm gonna go for it. All right, ready, Joe? I'm ready. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Don't eat him too much. Yes, sir! That's how we do it. We on, man. He's on. How's it feel? It feels bigger than yours, I think. Maybe. I don't we'll know. We'll see about that, bucko. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't take much to beat mine, though. That's true. Sam's is kind of small. The 30 pounder was obviously pretty big. But we're on right now. Vibes are good. I got seeds in my mouth. We love it. Oh, he's running, boys. He's running. I got this, like, 15 foot pole. Oh. Got mountains in the background. You might want to go underneath that one. Just can't complain. Oh, it's bigger than mine, Johnny. Well, I can't hit him. I can't hit him. You won't show nobody that. That's not in there, right? Oh, uh, it's in there. No, that's not in there. Let's go. Oh. Hey, sir. Hey, that's a good one, brother. Daddy Joe with the old gaff job. Woo! Most terrible game. I wanted Lindsay to take it, but she's like, no, no. Oh, he ate that. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, dude. He ate that. No, Whoa, he's gonna get Joe. the camera dirty. Really, Joe? We'll take that. I like that a lot. Well, there we go. That's three halibut for the good guys. We just need Lindsay to reel one in now. She was supposed to take that one, but she got scared. Give her, give her another one. <laughs> I got weak hands! What do you think? Do you feel something on there? Yes, but I might drop it. Finally, the queen. She on, we think, maybe. Oh yeah, she is. Oh yeah. You're doing great, Lindsay. You're doing yeah. great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at her go. Come on, Linz. Let's see it swimming with me right now. Yeah, there you go. You're doing good. <laughs> you look tired, eh? It's a f***ing workout, my guy. <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. Good job. Oh, Aww. We lost it. a joke. We lost it. Oh, We're really starved now. 
Right, I'm not feeding the family today, I guess. Sheesh. Well, we got dinner, folks. We got some dinner. All right, guys, it's been a little bit longer and haven't seen much action. Joe actually just broke off on one. Rest in peace to that, all Gucci. But our grandparents are in town and they wanted to meet up for dinner, so we have to call this halibut fishing trip a little bit short. We ended up getting three today and it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Lindsay couldn't land one, but we have the whole summer, so we're gonna be doing this a bunch. Huge shout out to Joe. We got a small, small window, a little bit longer of this. Yeah, so, so I gotta keep coming out with you, huh? Yep, so we got probably another, another few weeks to a month left, maybe. Okay. Depending on how long those hooligans stay. That's true. So well, I appreciate, yeah, and they're, so they're up shallow chasing the hooligan because that's their bait the fish. Yep. You guys know the deal. Oh yeah. Daddy Joe sexy, thank you. Yeah. But Sam, myself, and Lindsay, we're gonna haul these halibut back to the old truck, put it in the Remington cooler, and clean these, and I'll show you guys that process. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Later. Hey, thank you. <laughs> well, everyone, we made it back to the crib after getting some dinner with our family. And it's time to clean these son of a guns. We haven't cleaned these in a while, but the cool thing about halibut, for those of you that don't know, they are a flat fish and you actually get four fillets off of them, which is pretty cool. They are so good to eat. Uh, probably like one of the best saltwater fish that you guys can get. And I also know they are very expensive. So if you guys can just get your butt on over to the beach and do a little bit of fishing, I would suggest you do it. But we're gonna watch Sam here clean this and he'll give you a couple tips. The only tips I got is don't suck. And I am pretty good at sucking. All right, we're just gonna go for it. They got their guts and whatnot all in here. You can feel that gut cavity right here. This is all meat up here. You can just follow that line right down the middle. And then we're just gonna slice it. Show ya. It also helps to have a sharp knife, folks. So we yes. got a bubble blade that I think is somewhat sharp. It could be sharpened. It could be sharpened, yeah. It could but, be sharpened. But, but this but. is probably one of the sharper knives that me and Sam have at the moment. Correct. So we're gonna roll with this bad boy. But he just made a long cut down the middle. And obviously there's many ways to do this. Uh, this is just the way Sam and I do it. So we're not any experts by any means. No. But yeah, it's actually a lot simpler to clean halibut than one would think. And then once you get all the way down there, you're just gonna follow the ribs all the way down, just like that. We're gonna do it across this whole thing. This is satisfying to watch, man, Got honestly. It. So as you guys can see, he's just working his blade up against those bones, taking off every piece of meat that you can get. And I mean, if you guys can get a sneak peek, look oh, how man. white that meat is, son. Sheesh, yes, you love that. And don't mind Lindsay dragging the halibut around to wash him off. You're killing it, Linz. <laughs> look at her go. There you go. Look at that thing. Some pretty darn good meat right there, old son. Time to get that bad boy rinsed off and put in the fridge. And that right there, folks, is the general idea on how to clean a halibut. If you guys want a better, more in-depth video, I'm sure there's more videos on YouTube that you guys can look up, but that's just how we do it. We're gonna continue to clean the rest of our halibut. And obviously, we have a lot of it and we don't have a big freezer here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these sons of guns and then we're gonna bring them over to my good buddies at Custom Seafoods located here in Saldatna, Alaska. And they're gonna vac seal it for us. They're gonna freeze it for us. And then they're going to store it. And we're gonna be doing that all summer with these guys. Uh, they're gonna be holding on to our stuff the entire summer and taking care of us. So if you guys would like to learn more about them, there'll be a link down in the description below. They are much more than just a, I guess, 
uh, place where you dump off fish to get stored. They also have a website where you can buy Alaskan fish and all this amazing stuff that you guys want. So if you live a long ways away and you just want the fish and you don't want to come out here and catch it, you can order it offline on their website. It'll be linked down below. And even if you guys are in town and you need a place to fax your things, freeze your things, or store your things, go to Custom Seafoods in Saldatna. Huge shout out to them. We're gonna finish doing these guys and then eventually we're gonna get to eating these guys and man, I'm getting hungry. The next day. Hey, why that meat looks so good, brother? So we caught it yesterday, duh. Hey, right on, brother. What you got going on over here, bucko? You making some side dishes? Making some taters. Ooh wee! So we're eating bougie tonight, huh? Tonight we're finally gonna be eating our halibut. It's been a long time coming because it's just been staring at me in the fridge. So I'm very excited for that. We're gonna have some potatoes with it as well as some broccoli. And man, what a five-star meal we bouts to have. But we're going to show you guys how we like to prepare our halibut. Uh, you know, obviously there's just countless amounts of ways you could cook it, but we're gonna show you a quick and easy way to do this, and you guys can do this for yourself at home. All right, Slammin, what's the dealio for the halibut tonight? Um, we're gonna cook it two different ways. I got my little filet here, which I'm gonna just fry it up in the pan. But John and Lindsay are gonna have that big chungus piece, and they're gonna have that in the oven at about 425 for about 20 minutes, give or take. We don't want it to be overcooked. We'll just have to check on it. It's not a very thick piece, so we'll keep our eye on it, but it should be around the 15 to 20 minute mark. We're gonna keep it pretty simple with the seasonings because, well, we don't have that much stuff, but quick, easy way to cook fish. We got our garlic powder, that's a must. We got pepper. And we got salt, obviously. We got a little bit of lemon pepper, which I guess you probably won't need pepper, but yeah, that's what we got. We got paprika, and then we got Italian seasoning. And then butter, and maybe a little so butter, some onions on top some or something. Onions. I'm gonna caramelize my onions and throw it on my pan seared guy. It'll be money, but let's get after it. If you had fresh lemon too, it's money, but that's what this is for. All right, our halibut is ready to go for the oven. It's all wrapped in there. Got some onions in there, as well as some butter. And I wrapped it up in the tin foil. Gonna put it in the oven at 400, and we're gonna watch it for about eh, 12 to 15 minutes. So that's how Lindsay and I are gonna do ours. And then Sam, he's getting some caramelization going on, and then he's gonna do a little pan sear, ain't that right? Oh yeah. Pans here for the win. Ooh la la. Five course meal right here. We have some potatoes, broccoli, and our lovely halibut. Cook this to about an internal temp of 135. That's right around where you want it. You don't want to overdo it or else it gets dry and nobody likes dry fish. But we're gonna go in for a taste test on this chungus of a piece right here. Just, I don't know if you guys can see how melty in the mouth that looks. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll cut that up a little bit just cause I don't want to absolutely burn my mouth, but oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. Super easy halibut recipe. Hmm. What the uh, Sam hell? Does that smell good or what? Dude, that's some halibut ASMR for you guys. Holy cow. That was probably the easiest halibut you can make. 
and boy oh boy does that turn out absolutely fire so many flavors in my mouth right now very juicy not dry at all have that buttery taste and then you can taste a little paprika and the onion on top is just mm, the icing on top of the cake but wow what a meal sam he made kind of like a a lettuce wrap with his halibut and it looks very good so i'm curious what sam's gonna think about his wow do i have gordon ramsay over here or what goodness gracious i don't know i need to see if she's even done first perfect <laughs> so good dude i wish i had more stuff to throw in this thing but we're just gonna go in for it now oh That is good. Chapter 3, The Rainbow Trout. There we go. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's a big boy. Oh, that was a big boy. It was a tank. Dude. <laughs> Oh, I got one to a tiny one. <laughs> oh, let's go. Slayman, you got a, you got a big one? I got a tank on. Oh, God. I don't know if anyone saw it when it jumped. I, saw it come up. I know Hunter saw it. I saw it come up. Come on, Slayman. I believe in you. Let's go, baby. Doing good. Doing good. Where's he at, Sam? Good question. You know when he comes up. Good fish. Yeah. Oh, Let's baby. Slide to the back. Let's go, Slayman. <laughs> Come on, nervous, baby. Man. Close her out, bro. Nervous, bro. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you saw it jump, though, eh? Oh, oh yeah. I see it. Yeah, that looks yeah, nice. i seen that. Yeah. Well, we're close to the indicator. We're just going. Up front. Oh! Dude, that is long, mean, in charge, brother. He ain't happy. <laughs> oh, man. I've that, been this nervous. You haven't been this nervous in a while, huh? No. No, let's get the heart going. Oh. He's mad right now, dude. He is not ready, bro. Oh, <laughs> slave man! I'm staying so mad at him right now. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Straight up. Back towards the back of the boat. Straight up. Straight up. Let's oh. go! Yeah, you pass, Sam. Nice. 25, 26. Ah, uh, 26. Nice dude, that thing, a, that thing scared me when I set the hook, dude. Out of boy! Out of boy! Holy go. cow. I don't Sam. even know what to say, dude. Like nice that's fish. probably tying my PB, probably, right, John? Oh, yeah, dang We man. never got a measurement on the one I caught last year, but it's got to be close to the same size. God, just a fat, fat, fat 25. Nice. Nice fish, Sam. Dude. Sam's a beast, bro. Just had to grind all day for that, you know? Oh, 
holding upstream into the current, facing upstream Good. into the current. Yep. Reviving for a bit, and we're gonna nice release. Oh. Oh, oh, yep. oh, he wanted to go. See ya, buddy. Hey, give me my ride. I'm gonna get him again. <laughs> <laughs> Classic BW. Oh, camera on camera. <laughs> so tell me, what do you what what happened there, and how are you feeling right now? I don't know. We just switched sides of the river. First like minute of the drift. I'm just kind of you know mending there, or whatever. I turn. I was about to look, about to turn around, and I just see my bobber shoot down. I set the hook, and he just. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's got to be a snag. <laughs> and then I saw it jump. I was like, nope, that's a fish. That thing was big though. Holy cow. I'm happy it kicked off nice and strong. And she's back in the water where she belongs. But man, that was a good fight and good fish. Huge shout out to our guy though. Mr. Hunter. Got a good on one, dude. Yes, yeah. Sir. Always putting us on the big fish. Thank you, dude. Oh my god. Oh, grab her on my GoPro. Come on, oh my god. He's jumping on the Holy. Oh, oh, oh. Slamming on the dude, clean up. That thing absolutely clobbered, you say? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That thing cranked it, dude. Oh. He knows the deal. <laughs> oh, he's not done yet. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Got some up there. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hey, <laughs> 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 What's going on, dude? Oh, I thought Luke was going to be the cracked one. I want Luke to get a big <laughs> one because he hasn't gotten a, like, a true big, big one. But hey, I'll take it. I ain't complaining. Bro, Bro. that one absolutely. <laughs> That one mucked it, and then it was just Dude, jumping it is. everywhere. Dude, my bop. Oh yeah, I saw. I watched that. Oh my. 20. Ooh, ooh. Twenty-eight on the butt, ooh, bro. Slaving, chill, bro. Yo, buddy's this on ends. one today, Let's dude. Let's go. Hey Hunter, you just want to talk about like taking care of trout, like you know, best yeah, way to take so care of trout. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to try to keep them upright. We don't want them upside down. It sends them into that. Uh, shock and these fish are just have finished spawning. You can see he's scarred up his old fish. We want to make sure we take care of them, keep their heads down, keep them wet, don't hold them out of the water very long. Just a few quick glory shots, and then we'll let him send him on his way. What are the scars from though? Like when they're spawning? What uh, it's hard to say. Anything? Yeah, it could be anything. He could be dodging seals all spring for all we know. His tail speed up from digging in the rocks, kicking reds. Nice job, Beauty. Sam. Beauty. Nice job. Yep, and then we'll turn his head up into the current. And we'll just give him some time. Let him kick off on his own. Oh. Dude, that is a beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Good release. See ya! See ya! Dude. Oh man. Dude, that's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. Wow.
No, dude, that thing was just swimming in this little deep pocket. That thing was like 30 inches, dog. Dude, it was massive. Oh my god, there he is, you little I got him! Oh my god! Sir, yes sir! <laughs> you can unclip the net if you want. I was already unclipped. <laughs> I, I kept seeing him in them, bro. I was like, I'm gonna get him. Wrapped it up, huh? Well, he kept looking at it in the sun, but like, wouldn't ever like commit to it. Yeah. And I saw him go in the shade. I saw him go in the shade, so I just casted him. I just casted it right in the shade, and he just slurped it when I was just laying on bottom like that. Yeah. Try to keep him over here. I'll do my best. I kind of suck at that. Oh, oh you good, brother. I won't be mad at you. You might have to owe me a pee pee touch though afterwards <laughs> if you lose it. <laughs> we might need a bigger net, huh? Bro, what the heck? Dude, that thing's a tank. Oh, that is what I came here for. It's all wrapped up funny it's now, huh? Up, Like barely, <laughs> he's barely hooked, brother. Oh my goodness! Holy cow! Dude, that's cool. I'm gonna land this, boys, and I'm gonna get my camera. That thing is a monster. Get bro. Down in there. Yeah, that was good. Just kind of Get that hook out. Okay. Uh -oh. There you go. Sweet. Kill him, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Do you have a tape? I don't. But that is a beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout right there. Yeah, we'll take a picture next to a rod Brother. or something. Let's go, yeah, dude. Dude, what the heck, bro? Well, Slayman, what just happened? Oh, well, this fish has been swimming by me for like the last 20 minutes, like literally since we've been here. And I couldn't get him to bite, and then I finally casted it into the shade, and I saw him go into the shade. And just let it lay on bottom, and he slipped the bead, and there we go, man. That's awesome. Wow. One last look at the beautiful beast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How sick is that? Chapter 4 The Flight.
Hey, thanks for the ride, brother. Catch a fish? I'll try to. Don't crash the tundra. I'll try not to. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Alaskan adventure. Today, I'm doing something that I know very little about and I've only done a couple times in my life. Recently, my good buddy Scotty at Wildfly Productions hooked me up with a pilot here in Alaska. His name is Dr. Bob and apparently he does some flying trips. So huge shout out to you Scotty for setting this up. But Dr. Bob gave me a call and he was just like last minute, hey, do you wanna go on this fishing trip? And I said, sure, I don't know nothing about it. I'm just going. That's what we're doing today. I just got dropped off and wow, these planes look sick. I mean, you just can't really complain about that. What a morning. So I'm gonna walk over here and meet everybody and kind of get the rundown, but this is gonna be an adventure, guys. And this is where our Alaskan adventure began. I walked down to the docks, met everybody that I was gonna be hanging out with for the day, and slowly started putting all of our stuff into a six person bush plane. After everything was inside of the plane, Dr. Bob came in and we putzed around the lake a little bit, doing a checklist of things that a pilot has to do before we could take off. Before I knew it, the plane was up in the air and we were soaring over the Kenai Peninsula and man, was it beautiful. When we were flying, I got to talk to everybody in there and I found out that we're gonna be flying about an hour and 20 across Cook Inlet to target a couple different fish, Northern Pike and Big Lake Trout. The flight over went amazing. The sights were breathtaking, the mountains, the ocean, the rivers, the streams, you name it, I got the whole nine yards and the whole experience. So an hour and 20 goes by and we fly over this beautiful lake, probably the bluest lake that I've ever seen in my life. And Bob says, well, that's the lake that we're gonna be fishing today. And I found out that one side has lake trout and the other side is spawning grounds for lake trout and pike. With the wind conditions that we were dealt with, Bob said that we were gonna land on the lake trout side first, and then once the wind got bad, we were gonna take off and fly to the other side and finish the day off doing a little bit of combination of pike and lakers. Bob is a beauty and stuck the landing absolutely perfect. I remember seeing all the water spray up when the skis touched on there, which I thought was pretty cool. And we ended up trolling on over to the shore where we got out and that's where our fishing story starts. Wow, what an absolute beauty of a plane ride. And we made it to a remote lake. The water is so blue, it's so clear here. Got mountains everywhere. Wow, what an experience. I'm just gonna take in as much of this as possible because this is something you don't get to do every day. All right, well, we just landed, got some tackle ready, and this first lake that we're at, I believe there's lake trout in here, as well as some pike across the lakes. But I think right away, we're gonna start out trying to catch some lake trout, which I'm freaking excited because I've never caught a lake trout on a fly rod before. This is gonna be a first time for me. I've caught them on the ice, obviously, or through the ice, but never on a fly rod. So this is gonna be super cool. Again, guys, I'm doing all of this through all Alaska outdoors. Uh, I'll have Dr. Bob explain about it a little bit more. Uh, he knows more about it than I do. But if you guys wanna do what I'm doing today, which is just even like a little snippet of what all they offer, it'll be linked down below and you can learn more about it. After all the rods were rigged up, we walked over to the secret honey hole and Bob said, if I don't catch a fish first cast, I know something's wrong. 
and about 20 seconds into Bob casting, well, this happened. No way. <laughs> no. All right, we're good to go, guys. I just have to check. First fish of the year. <laughs> Nice. Huh? No, no, you guys start fishing. Throw those fly lines out, let them sink. Uh oh, he's going to get me in the snag if I'm not careful. Oh, yeah, he so let go. And, and, and what I love about this spot is the water's so clear that you just get these gorgeous, you know. And I, I, got, I, I finally bought a GoPro. But I got a, you, got, you probably got to teach me how to use it. You're yeah, a I GoPro teach you. expert, right? <laughs> it's still in the box. All right, hang in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the colors. So since they have the orange fins, what are, are these just, are these a different type of lake trout? You know, it's just every, just, every place I fish them, they have different colors. Okay, the one, yeah, the one, yeah. We'll let them go. That's pretty good. Well, we already started fishing and the demonstration cast, obviously Bob hooked up because he's a freaking beauty and just caught a absolute gorgeous lake trout. And now uh, I've been getting a couple shots here, but I'm about to get in there and I'm, I'm really excited to do this. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and let you guys know. I've been watching people fish, doing a little bit of filming, but I finally decided to pick up a fly rod for myself. And dude, this is so cool. Absolutely breathtaking, so beautiful out here. So what we're fishing is, as you can see, there's a creek right here, and the creek just goes into this lake. And the lake, there's a giant, giant drop off right out that way. And uh, all these fish are just hanging out kind of in this little pool and I'm sure they're getting little critters or bait fish or something that come in from this creek over to there. But I'm gonna get in there. Dr. Bob hooked me up with the rod and I have no idea what that's supposed to emulate, but we're just gonna get after it here. I am stoked. All right, well, as you guys can tell, it's getting a little bit windier here. And being that we have a plane here, we have to move sides of the lake to get away from this wind because it's not very safe. But I didn't get to fish for that long, so unfortunately, I did not get a lake trout. But that's okay. It's still so beautiful out here, and there's more fishing to be had.
land there at this end, so that other end would have been good. Well, we just made it across the lake and we're in this shallow bay where there are some pike that are spawning here. I mean, I know you guys back home, you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys know what the pike are about, but I haven't caught a pike on my fly rod in a very long time. So I think we're gonna get out, we're gonna wait around and see if we can put the hurting on some spawning pike. What are you thinking? Feel like a lot <laughs> No, this is the complete opposite. <laughs> I'm about to go pike fishing in Alaska. I never thought I would say that. Did you have my neighbor, though? No, I couldn't see them. Oh, they're like 40 inches long. Really? Yeah. See, that would be... It's a little, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> well, fellas, we're getting all rigged up, and I just got handed this chunks of a rod. And we're using, I'll show you, I, this thing right here. Looks pretty cool. And then, if you can see, we got the plane just chilling in the water right there. That's pretty cool. But all the pike we saw were, I believe, way down that way. So we're gonna wade, wade that way eventually. And uh, they were saying they saw some like 40, 40 inches. So this is gonna be pretty fun. No, right? I mean, I wish the sun was out though. That'd be kind of... Feels like sunny and 75. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the water would just feel good. There's one. Oh, is that a Laker? Is that a Laker? Or is that a pike? I don't know, but he's going for a run. Oh, baby. He is going for a run. Ah. Oh, boy. Well, boys, we got something here. I have no clue what we got. I got a quick little peek at him. It's looking very pikeish, which you'll have that with me. Big pike guy. But yeah, like I was saying, my GoPro's been acting super weird today, so I don't know how much I've gotten uh, fish catches on camera, but this is uh, hopefully going to be on camera for you guys. Oh, it's a pike. Gosh dang it. I was really hoping... For Wait, what is, is that a pike? Yep, that's a pike. Hmm. These guys followed me all the way to Alaska. You know, I will say, Alaskan pike hit a little bit different. Yeah. Catching pike, flew into this place, got a nice view of some mountains. You just really can't complain, man. You can't complain. Huh. Oh, crush. There we go. There's another one. It's feeling very pikeish. This one's this one's running. But I think over here. I got a pike coming your way, Eric. There we go. We're all tripled up right now. At least I think this is a pike, probably. He's mad. 
he's mad. Little chunky monkey. See you, buddy. I'm just hoping and praying every time I have one on that it's a uh, uh, lake trout, but it's just a pike every time. Oh, Alaskan pike. We'll take that. We'll take some Alaskan pike. Chapter 5, The Island Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, you're on the GoPro, and that is because it is absolutely downpouring here in Alaska. What up, Bubba? All right, how's it going? It's definitely not wet out here. It's so dry and warm out here and sunny. I love this. How's it going, Miss Lindsay? Classic Alaska weather. Yeah, but in the background, you can see it. The ocean's right there and some mountains. It looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah, and I just saw a bunch of seals, so you guys are going to have to go say hi to your seal friends. Well, guys, I have been keeping this a secret for a while, but myself, Sam, and Lindsay, we decided to leave the Kenai Peninsula and uh, come over to Kachemak Bay to do a little bit of surviving, relaxing, fishing, whatever you want to call it. We're on a island that my grandma lives at. And if you guys can see in the background, this is their cabin that they built a long time ago. If you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, you know that we've been coming here since we were little guys and we have filmed videos here in the past. So it feels good to be back 
We actually just got in a couple hours ago. We took the boat from Homer, Alaska over here and the boat ride was awesome. And uh, all of a sudden, as soon as we got to the island, it started absolutely downpouring. So I'm sorry that you guys are gonna have to watch this first day in the GoPro point of view, because obviously I don't wanna get my camera wet, but we're gonna make do, all right? We're not gonna let this rain get to us. We're just gonna have a good time. But as I was saying, we're here at our place. We're gonna be here for four days, just hanging out, filming videos for you guys. It is absolutely stunning out here. We've been seeing seals, bald eagles, and just the views out here are absolutely immaculate. After bringing everything up from the beach, we got settled in here, and myself, Sam, and my grandpa, we got the boat fired up, and we brought it over to the beach over here, where Sam and I, you know, we couldn't come here and not try to catch some fish or halibut. So, we decided to get the GoPro, get the bait, get everything we need, and we're gonna try fishing for the very first time here. Uh, this is gonna be a little quick mission for you guys, because tonight we have some dinner planned. So uh, right now we're going to go fishing and then I'll give you a tour of the island and this place a little bit later. But first, let's get to the good stuff. Uh, let's go catch some fish, Bubba. Ah! All right, Bubba, pull our boat in. Yeah, get some elbow grease into that. Yeah, there you go. So Sam is pulling the running line in and uh, that's our boat and it looks like it's going the wrong way. So he's gonna have to pull the opposite way. What? Look at the old girl right here. Oh yeah. We got a nice little 12 foot bond, nice little skiff here. If you guys remember the last year, or two years ago, we didn't have the motor. So I was literally rowing Samuel Lehman out there like notebook oh, style. Oh yeah, Ryan Gosselin, that a boy. Yeah, yeah, Woo. dude, we're in the notebook. But today we got the motor working again and we're gonna load everything in this tiny skiff. We're just gonna putz on out over there and try to fish. Pull, baby. First pull, let's go boys. Let the Alaskan adventure begin. This is Alaska as it gets. As you can see, it's downpouring. We got a rain suit on, we're in a tiny little skiff. We got mountains in the background. Does it get any better than this? boys gotta put the anchor down all right sam and i made spot number one and sam what are you using just a little little heron with a little squid on there to an eight ounce weight hopefully we catch a hell of it man <laughs> we're gonna make lance proud today aren't we that's the mission man that's the mission we oh, got him yeah. boys me and lance baby let's go <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> <Tell them man. laughs> but we also got secret weapon, some garlic sauce, baby. It's I think right at high tide, like right now. So tide's gonna be going out here probably soonest. Well, not soonest, but in a little bit. And uh, hopefully we can get some action. But we're just gonna script that up in there. Oh yeah. Get that scent down there, boy. All right, Sam just dropped down, and now I have the rod that has the old chaos on it, so I'm about to wreak some chaos. I'm using a eighth ounce jig head, 
or not an eighth ounce, an eight ounce jig head with a little curly tail. And I'm gonna tip that with some heron. And hopefully we catch something. Hello, welcome back to another one. Um, miso Sam, miso John Lehman, catch a bigger fish. Oh. Come on, I think you have meat. No. Oh, Slayman's on. I was reeling in to check bait. And it looks like oh, Slayman. No, oh, no. Oh, hey. Flounder. A little flounder. Let me see that. All right, the first victim of the trip. A little flounder or like a yellow sole or something. We're going to get him back in the water. We're looking for bigger and better things though. The ocean? You on? Yeah. Bigger than the last one? <laughs> oh yeah? Second fish of the day. Sheesh! Racked on the yellow soul. There you go. A yellow soul beat down. <laughs> oh, baby butt! Halibut. Baby butt. It is a halibut. Sam just caught a little halibut, but like baby, baby. Ah, there you go. First halibut of the trip. Absolute mega, as you guys can see. But I don't know. We're It's going good. This is just kind of like a trial run for the first day. But uh, oh, there we go. Hey. Oh. No, he's not there anymore. Anyways, yeah, this this isn't going bad for a trial run. You know, we'll take him like that. Maybe I do have. Oh, 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 baby, oh baby, oh baby. What do we got going on here, bro? Boys, did you see? Oh my God, Sam, the pissy fun reel, baby, the pissy fun reel. What's going on? Did you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sheesh, yeah, boys. Run if you want, Steve, bro, bro, I was just talking to you guys, and then all of a sudden, you guys saw it happen. I, I reeled up in the water column, and that fish followed me all the way up here. Holy cow. It doesn't feel like mega. Okay, okay, maybe, okay, maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's not bad. We will need the gaff. Holy crap. I don't know what we're going to do when we get it up here. I'm gonna move this gas tank back here. Yeah, yeah, you move the gas tank. Anyways, guys, but the the new Chaos Pistol Fun Reel. Oh, dude, this is fun. It feels it feels really nice with this rod. So, let's see if I can land this halibut. I think it's a halibut, or I'm hoping it I is need at you least. To move your other foot over there. Yeah. We're gonna toss him right here, right in the middle. Oh boy. Did you see that, bro? Yeah, bro. Oh, dude, he's mad, bro. He's mad, bro. It's not big, like it's not very big, but, but I don't know. It's bigger than it, I'm gonna say, like not very big, but it's a halibut, you know. Oh yeah. You see him? Oh my god. Yeah, I know he's not big. He's not that big, but it's a butt, baby. There we go. Let's go, baby. Butts. Let's go. Oh yeah, dude. Here, we're gonna dispatch him real quick, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not massive, 
but it's a good start. Lance, I hope you're watching this. I hope we made you proud. We caught a halibut right there, fellas. This is not big, but I mean, it's gonna eat up so good. That's the first one. Good. That's the first good one of the day. That was funny because Sam caught the micro and then this guy came through. So we probably should get right back down because maybe we're gonna have some more action here. Halibut for you. Like I definitely gave that one no mercy, you know? Oh yeah, no, I saw that. Oh. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh baby! Oh, that's big! Oh boys, we got something big! Oh god! Oh goodness, Sam! Alright, Sam's on something massive. Oh, that looks huge, Sam. Oh my gosh. Ah. Bro, what the heck, Sam? <laughs> Dude, for that to bend that rod like that, you know it's big. I'm thinking skate. Or really big butt, bro. One of the two. I don't feel any head shake, so I'm thinking skate. But... Oh, it might be a skate. You never know, right? <laughs> Dude, that thing is... Like, for that rod to bend like that, man. Oh, yeah. You know? Sheesh! We got the mountains in the background. This is lit, bro. Uh, Whew. Yes, sir. I'm hoping hell of it. Uh, if it's a halibut, Sam, I... It's gonna be interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is hell of it. It's a big boy. Oh, oh. God. I kinda. I, dude. I don't know, man. Uh. Yeah, it's not making them like big Do runs. Do you wanna feel this? Like no, no. I'm, I know it's big, bro. When I saw your rod load up, I was like, yep, that's that's big. I mean, it could be a foul hook a bit, too. I don't, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. Ugh. There's no runs though, so it's that's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of dead weight. I'm thinking skate. Oh yeah, that's a skate boy. Huh. So What's up, buddy? Well, as you can see, we got a nice little skate right there. Somehow it got wrapped around and everything. Uh, but I'm gonna try to deal with this here, so let me set this up. I got the bail open too, so it's nice to run. Oh my god, dude, this is scary as hell, bro! Got him? Well, well fellas, we got the skate off successfully. We didn't want to keep that. So uh, we're here for the halibuts, man. But that, that seemed like it was fun. Sam, was that fun for you? Yeah, it was all right. It was fun. Felt, felt heavy, but I kind of wish it was a halibut. We have a hella butt. Here we have a key knife. We're gonna make a cut like this, and then down there, and then just gonna take the meat off. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm hungry though. This this looks very delicious. Crazy, like this would be enough for me, Sam, Lindsay, my two grandparents, and this is just a little guy, you know? So cool.
Look at that. Oh, I'm excited to eat that slaving. I don't know about you. Chapter six, the sockeye salmon. All right, I'm back on the sticks now. I guess Hunter and Lindsay were kind of messing them up while I was gone. So I feel a little left out. I haven't caught one yet. So hopefully your boy can get one. We're looking for a big dolly today. A big, nice colored up dolly with some orange fins and uh, dark green body. That'd be pretty cool. That's what I'm looking for. But I think it's cool that uh, you know we're fishing somewhere where there's so many red sockeyes just kind of chilling. Right yeah, there's a dolly right there. Like you can see everything that's going on. Tiny Creek stuff exploring with the mountains in the background. It doesn't get much more Alaska than this, fellas. I see him, that's a nice one. Come on. It looks so good. <laughs> Shall I let it swing, Lindsay? Every time. Yep. Gotta let it swing right under that tree. Oh, I, I, a red ate me. Are oh my kidding? gosh, a red ate me. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Guys, what the heck? I'm dolly fishing here. One of these reds just ate my bobber, man. Wow, that's pretty cool. We're just going to try to shake this guy off and let him be, but I mean, it happens sometimes when you're dolly fishing, you'll hook some of these. Look at that, he munched that thing. Yeah. It's really fun on the St. Croix six weight though. I mean, look at this, just dogging me, man. Sheesh. <laughs> Oh, he sees my bridle and gas. He's so, he's so pissed. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the schnoz, man. And that one's a hen? No, uh, a buck. buck. Oh, the buck has the top longer than the The big old beak. Look at that. I love that little de-hooker. De-hooker. Just a boat spike in the corner. Look at that. What a cool fish. We're just gonna let him go off and do his thing. See ya, buddy. Oh my gosh. Scary. There we go. <laughs> All right, brother. See you later. Chapter 7 The Spawning Grounds. Yep, get all zipped up, bucko. Oh yeah, we're gonna go clap some dollies. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. I'm still in Alaska, still stranded here. So if I'm stranded in Alaska, I thought, might as well go fishing. And today, Hunter has off and uh, wanted to do something that we've never done before because most of the time when I go with Hunter, he's either rowing us or kind of pretty much just guiding us. And I'm like, dude, like I, I wanna actually fish with you. So we're at a undisclosed location where we're gonna do a little bit of Dolly Varden fishing and maybe even run into a couple of rainbows, which would be pretty cool. But I'm most excited about fishing with Hunter because it's the first time ever doing doing that together. So that's gonna be cool. Lindsay's here as well. She is doing something right now. And we're in bear country, guys, okay? There's a lot of bears here because there's uh, some sockeyes up here spawning. So you can't target the sockeyes, which we're not gonna touch them. We're after the dollies. But the bears do like to come over here and do a little, little snacking on them. So uh, we're gonna hopefully not run into any of them and just catch some fish. But we're gonna keep this nice, sweet, and short and we're gonna get on going. Just in case we do, though. Oh. We ready. All right, we just made it down to the old fishing spot, and I'm using my St. Croix six weight. I got about a eight foot leader with a nice little strike indicator, and then I got some split shots right here, and I got a little bead with a little hook. 
And today we are targeting the old Dolly Varden. But all we're gonna be doing is looking for some dollies and we're gonna let them uh, hopefully eat our beef today. Catch a couple of them. They are pretty loaded in here, eating all the sockeye eggs and such. So hopefully you can get one. We also have to watch out for the bears because there is a lot of bears here. There you go, Lindsay. There you go. Hey, I'll net them for you. Woo, Lindsay. Not a bad one. Not Good job. Yeah, see? Lindsay's on, fellas. She Hunter just caught one, and now Lindsay caught one. Found ourselves a nice little chill place. Look at that. Beautiful. Very mm. nice fish, honey. Little release action here. Hey, <laughs> not into the net, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, honey. Woo, you're a beast. All right, I have to run back to the car real quick to get some mosquito spray, so enjoy the Lindsay footage. Maybe she'll catch something. One, please net it for me. Wow, man! I said that. Come here, Lindsay. Oh God! That's a big one. I just put the camera on you. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Do you need to hold it up any higher? Nope. Oh. oh. See ya. It's right there. Nice. Good job, Lindsay. Uh. <laughs> Come here, fishy. Swim this way. Oh, pretty one. Really pretty one. Look at how dark. Ooh. Perfect. Look how pretty that fish is, guys. All right. Bang. All right, Sansa, I can't catch a fish. I'm only Lindsay and Hunter can. I want you guys to see how a guide does it. <laughs> so this is the Hunter cam. All right, go get him. All right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> Probably, we'll see. I know. I do pretty good under pressure. Kind of. First drift, oh! Put it in there. Hey, even guides tangle up in the trees. Ooh. There he is. Oh, damn, bad luck camera. There he is, got him again. Oh, I got another one. Half the size. LDR, baby. Dang, client, what's going on? LDR. Oop, tangled up in the GoPro. Now I know how John feels. I spend more time tangled up than I do fishing half the time here. Try this little faster stuff. 
there's one. The micro super dink. Magnums only, quick release. That's how we like it. Oh, the micros like the bead. No dandies yet. There they be. No. Bunch of micros. Might be time to swap the bead. Get his ass. Damn. Look at them head shakes. This is a nice, like, deep hole. Oh, dude, he won't budge. How big we talking? I don't know. Have you seen her? Whoa. You want a real net, Buffalo? Oh, no, you got it. Nah, I got it, dude. What do you mean? He's making fun of my net, guys. You want a real net? Dude, this is a good one, dude. This is so oh, oh, yeah. Look at that Troy bed. Oh. God, I like this rod. Yeah, dude, it's not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, that is a nice yeah. one. Hey, maybe give me that net. <laughs> Do you want that one? Bud? Yeah, give me this one. He got scared, guys. <laughs> He's gonna knock off his guide's fish. I did get scared. <gasps> hey, come here. Hey, look at that. Spoon. Oh my god, dude, that's <laughs> fatty. That's a fatty. That's a fatty. Yeah. Dang, what a beautiful that is a dude that thing dude, is thick it's a thick old dolly it is a thick dolly beauty starting to change Look colors a little spots. bit yeah the spots are so cool a little lipstick nice fish brother it's a fat one hey where's your phone you want to pick yeah i take a pick quick all right, all right ready see you later bucko whoa Hide in your hole. Actually, yeah, literally. Heck yeah, brother. Hell Dude, yeah. you got a skeeter right in your eye. Oh, I yep. Know. Yep. Well, everybody's hammering right now. I haven't caught one yet. I'll get one, don't you worry. Just having an off day, you know, no big deal. If Sam was here, he'd probably have like 50 already. Oh, he I know he would. Hey, let's go. Oh, brother, I got a net. Oh, shoot. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. No. Get out of there. No. All right. We're going for it. He's stuck on a branch. We're just going to keep pressure. Let's see what we can do. Oh, damn. It's a nice one, bro. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is bad. Oh, no. I knew that was done for after he was getting that branch, dude. Oh, he broke me off. That was a decent one, too, man. Sounded like it was a snag. That's the fish. Dude, I should have sight fished that one. I was sick. Nah, he's a small little guy. A good confidence builder. Look at that, fellas. First dolly of the day. It's only taken forever. Forever. Honestly, if you just shook off, I wouldn't even care. Hey, come here, bucko. There we go. 
My first dolly of the day, nice. Lindsay and Hunter have been clapping on them. And uh, Lindsay caught actually a really nice one. Hunter caught a really nice one too. And then I just got the little little grunt of the, the group here. But hey, it's a start, man. Dude, he choked that, dude. Nice little dally. Super beautiful. We're gonna let him go. See you later, buddy. <sighs> right on, Hunter. No skunk. Hey. hey. Oh, yeah. Money. No way, Jose. Oh, that's a tank, dude. I don't know. Is that a fish right there? Is that a, is that a dolly right there? Oh. Oh. I guess so. No, I was looking at a different one. Look at that one. That's huge. I'm gonna take him without mine down here. Hey, dude, I was watching another one. I was watching a bigger dolly and then a, a different dolly ate me. Oh, Hunter's trying to get him. But yeah, I got a different one, which is pretty cool. Wow. Wow is all I gotta say. And get the old trusty net out. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Broke off. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, he's too big to fit. He's too big, he's too big. Come back. <laughs> Scoop. Scoop dude. Look at how big he is, honey. That is a nice one. Wow. Nice dolly. My biggest of the day. Beautiful. Like, I don't know, maybe 17 inch or so. Not the right colors that I want though, but wow. Beautiful fish. See ya. These were just some of the awesome memories that we made last summer in Alaska. Super blessed to be able to spend every summer up there. Literally every day seems to be a new adventure. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys want to see this upcoming summer when we're in Alaska. I can already tell you, I'm just counting the days down until we make our journey back to the last frontier.